Here now with meteorologist Jay LA and uh, we had a really great run of fantastic weather. Today wasn't bad, but it's about to go. Yeah, clouds are moving back in. Probably not going to see any fog. It's too breezy out there. Then the rain, the heavy rain, and hopefully it's done by the weekend. And then it'll be sunny again. It'll be sunny again. Let's talk about the satellite picture right now. Some cloud cover out there. They're both down at the lower levels and moving in from the west southwest. So you'll see some of the clouds if you step out this evening. Here's some of the temperatures right now. We are trending in the mid to upper 60s for the most part. 65 in Gulfport, 66 in Hammond, 68 at this hour at New Orleans International. Still breezy. So here's what I'm talking about. Winds are going to be running this evening. 10 to 15 miles per hour. So fog not going to be a problem. Let's talk about what we can expect. This is a print in a pretty well advertised rain event here or uh, weather event. If you will, we're going to go breezy to windy at least through Saturday. Severe storms are going to be possible on Wednesday, although I think that's going to be isolated. That's really going to be the outlier. This is going to be a heavy rain event with the potential for some flooding right now. Looks like the heaviest rain is going to be moving through on Wednesday. Again, street flooding and those rivers could be uh, overflowing their banks and it's all associated with this big old trough. You can see it extends from California almost to uh, East Texas. And as we zoom out with the water, water vapor satellite imagery, you can really get a great picture of it. Here's one disturbance. That's what generated the rain across California. But you can see the uh, breadth and width of this trough. And it's going to be a slow mover in the upper levels, mainly because notice we've got a closed low. It's getting cut off from the main flow. When this happens, these lows have a tough time of moving out. They have a tendency of just kind of rolling around. This is 11 o'clock on Wednesday. We finally start to lift, but this is telling me if this model verifies that the rain's probably going to be lasting until Friday evening, then we'll finally clear it out for Saturday. Let's talk about our rain chances. This is at 1 o'clock overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. You can see down at the surface, this is a surface area of low pressure. You see this line that develops, that's going to be a stalled boundary. And we'll continue ahead in time and watch what happens. The progression, first of all, toward the east is very slow. We're already at Wednesday at 730, and we've only seen 20, 30, maybe 40 percent rain chances up until then. Now, see this line right here? Watch, we'll put it in motion. Notice what happens. We start getting a little bit of trailing. It doesn't move a whole bunch. It slides a little bit. This is uh, 6 o'clock on Thursday. This line kind of stays where it is. So as a result, that line will be mainly to our west. It could very easily set up right on top of us. So we have that chance for some flooding. Temperatures tonight will be mainly upper 50s, lower 60s. 30% chance of rain tomorrow, mainly for the west side of the viewing area. It will be windy. Temperatures a little bit above or below the mid 70s and your seven day forecast. So Thursday rain and heavy at times. Slight chance for severe weather on Wednesday. Then we trail down those rain chances. I think Saturday evening is shaping up to be OK. And don't forget, set the clocks forward because the time is changing. Daylight saving returns.